Joined by Dr. Rob Neal, founder of Golf Biodynamics. He's just finished an absolutely fascinating investigation into wedge play by some of the best wedge players in the world. And today we're going to talk about contact point. Um, where's, the, where's the safest place to hit it with the wedge, Rob? I, I think kind of middle of the club face, a little bit low, if you can afford to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to get to the stage where you're getting leading edge involvement in it, but... The closer to the bottom of the club without um, um, actually m making the without leading without edge is, is, is the idea, ideal spot because you get less interference between the club face and the ball um, down here or less probability of interference. Yeah. And when I say interference, grass or other materials, moisture getting between the ball and the face. Now, that would be the safest place. But, but, but in saying that, you say there may be other places to hit. Where do you think is the worst place to hit the wedge? The worst place is anywhere high on the face. And if you go high and towards the toe, you're going to get your worst results possible, in terms of distance control particularly. All right, so high and off the toe, worst place to hit it for distance control. However, there is a time when, in fact, you might suggest people hit it a little bit off the toe. When would that be and why would that be? So it really comes down to a little bit of physics here. Mm -hmm. When, when the, you hit it off the toe, the, the launch velocity of the ball isn't as high as when you hit it off the middle. Right. So the energy transfer isn't as good. So if you're trying to hit a particularly high spinning shot, hitting it off the toe can be adva an advantage because you can swing faster. Right. But the ball won't travel as far. And the spin that's generated is highly related to how fast you're moving the club head. Okay, so if I was, and this is perhaps um, not necessarily for the beginning golfer, but for someone who's you know, got some level of skill and they have to spin one, we're saying if you would address it off the toe a little bit and, and certainly have an intent to hit it off the toe a bit, that allows you to swing a bit faster and as you swing a bit faster, you can impart more spin on it. So yep. I'm going to give that. Actually, I, 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 um, when I was uh, learning to play golf, I had a Ryder Cup player tell me many years ago, the best place to hit your wedges, if you want to spin them, is off the toe of the club. So dear old Charlie Ward, he was right. Okay, so off the toe for a bit of spin here. Let's see if that one sits down. Yeah, that definitely puts some real spin on that. There you um, go, Martin. That one's nine and a half thousand almost RPM. Yeah. So if we came over here, um, that's nine th nine thousand three hundred. Now, would that be a pretty high spin rate for a pitch? Oh, that's a very high spin rate for for that uh, carry distance, Martin. Thank that's you very, thank you very that's much. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> tour level there, man. So. Yeah. Well, maybe about a hundred years ago. Hey, listen. Uh, so much to learn in this game, so much to learn from minds like Dr. Rob Neal, and of course we appreciate him coming in. Uh, this is something to experiment, something to learn with. If you really want to spin it, is it an all-the-time shot? No. But if you really want to spin it, experiment with hitting it right off the toe of the club. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how you can make that ball sit down if you do that with speed.